hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is katie i'm very happy to have you here in today's video i wanted to go over everything my husband and i have swapped out or done in the last two years to two months to become more sustainable and yeah just a little less toxic lifestyle so i know this video is obviously not a new concept there are thousands and thousands of these videos out there but i felt particularly It's storming outside. As soon as I hit record, it started pouring and now it's lightning and thundering. So if you hear anything in the background, that's a thunderstorm. Um, but I was trying to say that my husband and I have just been particularly motivated recently to just yeah make those final swaps that we've been, make, been just lazy or hesitant to make. So yeah, we've been really, really on our game recently. So I just wanted to show you everything that we've been doing. This video is not going to be super organized. I'm just gonna take you around my house and show you everything that I can really think of, honestly. Um, my house is not very clean and you know, there's some messes, so I don't wanna hear it. This is just a real video. We're gonna go through my house as it's storming outside and I'm just gonna show you what I can, <laughs> show you what I can show you. Okay, so the first thing in our kitchen is glass Tupperware. We switched out all of our Tupperware to glass when we got married. We asked for a lot of it on our wedding, wed wedding registry. Um, so yeah, we use all glass food containers now. We even use uh, glass jars in our pantry. Like I like to put pistachios and other dry goods in um, glass containers rather than plastic. We also use beeswax wraps. So I have a lot of these beeswax wraps. Um, I just got this new pack actually, and it has different, like ones for different uh, uses, like specific uses. Usually I just buy different sized rectangles and you can use them for whatever, but this one has, like this one is sewed on each side, so it's a bag. Yeah, I haven't used this pack as much yet, but I'm really excited to get into it. So we obviously use these instead of foil or plastic bags or saran wrap, things like that. Behind the beeswax wraps on our little rack are these reusable plastic bags. We used to use these all the time instead of Ziplocs. And that's kind of when I was starting my journey, but we don't use these as much anymore because I'm trying to get away from the plastic altogether. Not to say that we never use these, but I just try to use other things before I use these. Does that make sense? Another thing, another thing we use in our kitchen are stainless steel utensils. We just recently switched to stainless steel utensils. This is the most recent change we made. We only switched about a couple of weeks ago. Up until now, we've been using the plastic set that I got when I graduated college from Bed Bath & Beyond for probably $4. So I thought it was time to upgrade. Instead of plastic, we're now using stainless steel and of course some wood utensils that we've gathered along the way, along the years. So yeah. Another change we've made recently is switch, switching, <laughs> switching, is switching to these reusable paper towels. I've been wanting to switch to reusable paper towels for a very long time, but I was hesitant because I've heard that they're not super absorbent. And no, they're not going to be as absorbent as a regular paper towel, but they're perfect for everyday smaller spills, um, cleaning the counters, things like that. Under our sink, we do keep a regular roll of paper towels for when we're cleaning up grease or chicken or, you know, if our dog has messes in the house or something like that, we use regular paper towels. But yeah, for just every day, we use these paper towels. They're great. They roll up on the roll like real paper towels and they've been wonderful. Now that I have them, I'm sad that I waited so long to switch because we only switched to these a couple months ago and I've been thinking about it for years. So yeah, another thing I definitely recommend. Okay, and another item that I'm very excited about are these reusable napkins. So I recently thrifted this big piece of fabric. I don't know how many yards it is. I've been wanting to make my own napkins for a while, so when I saw that fabric, I definitely grabbed it. I thrifted it, it was like $4, and I'm making napkins out of it. So this is what I've done. I am such an amateur sewer. I hesitate to even show you my sewing, but not too bad. So yeah, now we have about 15 of these reusable napkins. So I love them and I just keep them right here above the paper towels and it's perfect. 
Okay, I think that's all for the kitchen. Let's move to the bathroom. Not such a glamorous place, but I wanted to show you our uh, toilet paper. So we, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like kind of crouch down here. So we use bamboo toilet paper. Yeah, so these toilet paper sheets are made with 100% bamboo. So yeah, it honestly was a really easy switch. I mean, you barely even notice a difference. So anyway, this is what we do in our bathroom to be more sustainable and love the earth a little bit better. I know I'm flying through these, but I just wanted this video to be quick. I know you've seen a million of these videos. I'm just feeling very motivated and happy and I wanted to share everything that we've been doing. So anyway, I think the last room is our laundry room. Welcome to our laundry room. <laughs> so the main things we did was not use dryer sheets anymore and we switched out our laundry detergent. So instead of um, dryer sheets, we use dryer balls and I just put um, essential oils on here to make our clothes smell good. We were recently gifted by Chris's, my husband's family, um, some non-toxic dryer angel refills. I've never heard of these and we haven't used them yet, but I am excited to try them out. And lastly, we've switched over our detergent to a non-toxic detergent. Honestly, our clothes are very clean and I feel really good that this doesn't have a lot of the stuff that regular detergent has, so. Okay, and I honestly think that's it. I can't really think of anything else on the top of my head. Uh, off the top of my head to show you right now. Those are just the things that we've done semi-recently and I just wanted to show you. But if there's anything else you think I should switch to, please let me know in the comments below because yeah, I just wanna be as sustainable and non-toxic as possible. So anyway, thank you for watching this very kind of different, quick, easy video. I'm sorry it's storming so much. I know you can just hear all this thunder in the, in the background. Um, yeah, it's pretty though. I wish you could see it. All right, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so go ahead and help me out. Give this video a like, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, and before you go, if you're here for my running, just know that I have signed up for another half marathon in less than six weeks. A video will come soon on all of that, so stay tuned. Okay, bye.